What's up folks, today on React Native School we're going to be replacing this simple state change of when you like or unlike a post, just changing the heart color, and replacing that by actually using a Lottie animation, this one right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, quick tour of this project. I've got my code in app, I've got an index.js which just sets up some basic navigation, I've got a single screen which is a feed which goes ahead and gives us the data for this feed and determines whether or not a post is liked. And then each one of these feed items or posts is represented by our post component, which goes ahead and renders the avatar, name, username, text, when it was posted, and then whether or not it was liked. So to actually go ahead and start changing this animation, what we need to do is first install Lottie React Native. And since I'm using a React Native project, I'm going to go ahead and say expo install Lottie-React-Native. That'll go ahead and install the correct version of Lottie React Native for my React Native version. If you're just using a React Native init project, you can just say yarn or npm install Lottie React Native. And then you'll have to go ahead and do a little bit of native installation, but that's all covered in their documentation. So with that said, let's go into our post.js and actually make sure we download this Lottie file. At Lottie files, you can just go ahead and press download get that Lottie JSON file, then I went ahead and just posted that in my app assets Lottie, and it's here as like.json. So to actually use a Lottie animation, let's go ahead and import Lottie view from Lottie-react-native. We can then go ahead and copy this, go down to where our actual images are, just right here. I'll just go ahead and comment this out. We can post our Lottie view in here. We can pass a source. We're going to say styles.heart Lottie. We'll go ahead and define that in a moment. Or I'm sorry, this should be style. And then we'll give it a source. And the source should equal where our actual Lottie animation is. So we'll go up a directory into assets, Lottie, and then we can say like.json. So if I save this, Let's go ahead, dismiss it, and sometimes I've found with Lottie View in XY, I just need to actually do a hard refresh of the app, and then I'll go ahead and render. Now, obviously, we don't see anything, so let's go ahead and define heart Lottie. We'll just go up to where we actually define the heart, and I'll give it these same specs. A width of 20 and a height of 20. Now, if I save this, we can see still nothing showing up. So let's go back down here and let's actually allow this to start playing automatically. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass autoplay and that should allow it to just automatically start. And you can see the animation is actually running. Now obviously this is a lot smaller than we want. Let's go ahead and bump up the size of our Lottie heart. We'll give this a size of 50. And it's a little to the right now. Let's go ahead and specify margin left and just pull it over with a negative 5. And that's looking a lot better. Now, obviously, we don't want this to just constantly run like this because we want to define when it starts and runs. Basically, we want this animation to happen when we like or unlike something. So to do that, first thing we need to do on our Lottie view, we need to say autoplay is equal to false. And we also want to specify that loop is going to be equal to false because we don't want it to keep running. We want to start and end it explicitly. Okay, so now we're seeing it's just sitting here. If I refresh the app, we can see it's going to sit in its initial state. So to access our Lottie view, to actually mutate it and start and end those animations, we need to grab a ref to it. So I'm going to say ref is equal to animation, and then we can go ahead up to the top of our component and define this animation variable. It's going to equal a react.useRef, and we'll just set an initial value to null. Okay, first thing we need to do is actually figure out the initial load. We want to show, is it playing or is it not playing? And to do that, we can use a react.useEffect, which takes a function as a first argument and an array of dependencies as a second. We'll just make that array of dependencies an empty array right now, so it only runs on the initial start, or the initial render. So we know if it is liked, we want it to be in the red heart phase, Otherwise, we want it to be in just the gray border phase. And to do this, we can go ahead and say animation.play. 
or sorry, it's animation.current.play. We want to access the current animation. And this play takes two arguments. It takes a start frame and an end frame. Now you can find these frames if you go back to Lottie Files, you scroll down just below it, you can start and pause one of these animations. And down here, you can actually see the current frame you're at. So let's say we have something that looks liked. We want this state to actually be displayed. So we need a start frame of 66. And because it's static at this point, we need an end frame of 66 as well. So we can go ahead and drop those in. And then if we do the same thing for our unliked state, let's go ahead and grab some here, go back. We want just the static image and 19, 20 should do the trick. So we'll drop those in here, save it. And you can see our first post, if we go back to our feed.js, our first post is liked, our second one is not. So that's looking correct. However, if I actually go and change the like status, you can see nothing's changing. The reason that's happening is because we don't have any dependencies here to specify should this or should this not change. So if we actually pass is liked to this, and you can see I've liked an unlike thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it so it's at the default state, and I press the like button, we're just getting those changes, which is just changing the frame the animation is currently at. And that basically brings us back to our exact starting point. But we want to actually run those animations when we change the like status. Initial run, we just want it to default to it so there's not a whole bunch of animations going on that don't really represent anything. We just want to see the animation when that value changes. And the way we're going to do that is basically set up a reference to determine is this the first render, so something like a component did mount, or is this a subsequent render, a component did update. So what I want to do is go ahead and create another reference, and I'm going to call this is first run. And again, I'll create a react.useRef. This time, though, I'm going to set the value to true. So if it, it is the first run, if is first run dot current, we're going to basically do what we've got here. If it's liked or not liked, we'll just do a static play, no frame changes, which means no animation. And we need to remember after this runs, we need to go ahead and set is first run dot current is equal to false because it is no longer the first run. We've already run this once. Otherwise, if we're on a subsequent subsequent run, we're going to say else if it is liked, we're going to do one thing. Finally, if it's not liked, we'll do one final animation. Okay, so if it is liked, we want to go from the gray border which we know starts at frame 19, to the red state. So let's go ahead, copy this. If it has been liked, we're going to go from 19 to basically this red state. So let's go back here. We're going to go from 19. We want to go through the whole animation until it finishes and kind of stabilizes. And it looks like 50 is going to be a good spot to stop. And it goes through that full animation and finishes at the final state. So let's go ahead and set this to 50. Likewise, if it is being unliked, we're going to want to go ahead and finish at that final gray border, which again we know is frame 19. And a good spot to start this would just be at zero. And then I'll go ahead and grow into this. So let's go ahead and set this one to be a play from zero to 19. We can save it. Let's make sure we refresh the app just to make sure everything's reset correctly. And now if I press a like on this one, we can see it goes ahead and animates that like in. Otherwise, it closes it and just gives us a simple animation back. And we can go ahead and change this. And we're using that Lottie animation to add a nice little, little bit of spice to this basic interaction of liking or unliking a post. If you're interested in more practical tips like this, be sure to check out reactnativeschool.com.